Mr. Burgum, and this is Marianne Pasquale, and we're from the Department of Genetics at the Albert Einstein College of Medicine. This is Una Fox, who will be helping us today. Hi. When we take samples for genetic analysis, we can get them from a variety of sources, like blood, or as we'll show you today, from buckle or cheek swabs. Buckle swabs are a non-invasive way to capture the cells from the inside of the cheek that are constantly shedding into your mouth. In this video, we're going to show you how to take buckle swabs in a safe, effective, and correct manner. This is a soft, sterile cytology brush. It's smaller and softer than a toothbrush. We provided you with the brushes and with tubes that have been pre-filled with a preservative solution. Try to avoid taking the buccal samples immediately after eating. You may also rinse your mouth with water to try and remove any particles of food that may be present. Before you begin, you will need a permanent marker and scissors. Please write the name of the person who is being swabbed on each of the four tubes. If two members of the family have the same name, please indicate their role in the family on the tube as well. We're now ready to begin. We're going to take four samples from each individual, two for the right side and two for the left side of the mouth. Each brush will be used to swab a different quadrant, as we'll show you in a moment. When taking the samples, please remember to twirl the brush as you swab and try to apply the maximum amount of pressure that you can without causing any discomfort. Una, are you ready to begin? Yeah! <laughs> okay, then let's get started. We'll start with the first brush on the left side of the mouth. Una, can you open your mouth? Uh-huh. Great, and try to keep it as relaxed as possible. Okay. We're going to swab Una's left cheek. Twirling the brush, go up and down on the cheek. Do this a minimum of five times. Then, with the same brush, go back and forth in the gutter, the upper gutter, the area between the gums and the cheek. Keep twirling the brush and do this a minimum of three times. When you've finished with the brush, place it into one of the tubes. For the second brush, we're going to again swab the left cheek. For this brush, try to swab an area that you did not swab with the previous brush, if possible. Can you open your mouth again, Una? Yes. As wide as you can. Thank you. Again, twirling the brush, go up and down on the cheek, a minimum of five times. With the same brush, then go into the lower gutter the area between the gums and the cheek, a minimum of three times. When you're done with this brush, again, place it into a new tube. Repeat this process on the right side. The third brush should be the right cheek and the right upper gutter, and the fourth brush should be the right cheek and the right lower gutter. When you're done taking the four samples, Please clip the top of each brush off so that you can close the tube. Cover each tube and follow the instructions provided for returning the samples to the lab. 